Well, welcome back. The Trust Stamps channel, as they recently announced the uh, allowance by a USPTO of a non-provisional patent application for interpretable biometric representation, unlocking the potential to break vendor lock-in for biometric services. And I know that is a mouthful, but we're going to break it down why it's important for the company. Joining to discuss just that, Andrew, the president, first and foremost, welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. I know that was a bit of a mouthful, but for newer audiences, let's simplify this a bit and, uh, you know, kind of break down what this patent means. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, for any less technical viewers like myself, um, so basically what happens is when a biometric is captured, um, it generates what's called a template. And most biometric service providers generate a unique template, which their clients can store and reference in the future for what's called a one-to-one -one comparison. Um, the concerns for many businesses is that the longer they use a single biometric service provider and the bigger their database of templates gets, uh, the more pa painful it will be um, to switch service providers in the future. Uh, because remember, each service provider's template is unique. And so that means they are not interoperable. Um, and so that could leave biometric technology users uh, having to start rebuilding their database from scratch and even paying to run two systems in parallel as they try to make that switch. Uh, whereas Trust Stamp's interoperable biometric representation framework um, allows biometric samples from these different vendors um, to be compared and validated in a universal privacy secured format um, using our irreversibly transformed identity token. Yeah, and kind of looking a little bit more into it, which industries do you think will benefit the most from this innovation? Probably government, uh, financial institutions, and healthcare systems. Um, and that's because biometric infrastructure um, has a pretty high upfront cost um, and is often used uh, for sensitive functions like security uh, and fraud prevention. And so as a result, switching vendors represents not only a significant cost burden to these industries, uh, but also a security vulnerability. Yeah, for sure. But do you want to talk a little bit more about the markets where you see this will be most impactful? Yeah, really any highly regulated market, but especially those who are impacted by laws like uh, GDPR, CCPA, um, and the EU's AI Act. Um, these laws are really increasingly um, mandating data minimization and privacy by design principles, um, which really aligns with um, Trust Stamp's privacy enhancing technology. Yeah, from the technology standpoint, this is also very intriguing, but uh, maybe what do you think are the implications for Trust Stamp itself as the business? So I'm excited about it because it aligns um, our growth to the entire identity verification market, which is about $10 billion um, and is projected to grow 19.98% um, uh, on a compound annual growth rate to about uh, $40.57 billion by 2032. And so a number of identity commentators have speculated that uh, this technology really has such a far reaching uh, potential impact that it could well attract uh, buyers for the company or partnership offers from much, uh, much larger companies. And so while we're not looking uh, for a buyer, um, this interoperability solution becomes increasingly valuable, uh, the more vendors we get to adopt it. So uh, we're certainly in the market for uh, large industry partners that can really help us uh, realize our full potential with it. On that note, we'll pass it off to the viewers. As always, we'd love to know what you think and consider subscribing for news catalysts like this as it hits the wire. But on that, we look forward to catching you in the next one.